The amazing thing about yoga therapy is that it is a collaboration. So the person comes with whatever they come with in terms of what's happening in their life. And I come with a toolbox of things that I know how to do. And there's lots I don't know how to do. And I think of myself as creating a space, literally kind of a, like an energetic space or a safe space, like a little room around us to be really present with a person. And I don't feel, I generally don't feel like I have to fix anything. I have some things to offer and we try them. And if they're useful, great. If they're not, we might try something else or the person might decide I'm not the right person to work with them. Um, and whenever I feel that impulse to fix, um, one of the things I've gotten much better at is to notice that impulse and to make myself stop talking and really listen and recognize that the finding your way and healing is really up to the person who's got the, what, the presenting issue, whatever it is, that I have things that I can offer as help if they're useful, but I don't do the fixing. I really am a collaborator. I'm a partner with the person to co-create a yoga practice that's healing and helpful for that person. There's something in the practice of yoga for me, um, and I see this in my clients, that allows people to stop um, pushing against what's happening in their lives and just be present with the experience. And a lot of the suffering drops away or changes. It's not like it's necessarily gone, but it changes. I'm thinking of somebody um, who was here this week who had a terrible loss and in a very traumatic event. And she described how her yoga practice was the one place where she could go and feel safe. And so I often have a sense of, oh, this offers a little oasis for people who are suffering.